Can you list the physical properties of sulfur dioxide? Let me tell you a few. It is a colorless gas with a suffocating smell. It is poisonous and can cause inflammation of lungs. It is also heavier than water and is highly soluble in water. Hey, have you ever seen a fountain? I am going to take you to see a magic fountain. See, the round bottom flask is filled with sulfur dioxide. This is a jet tube. Dip the bottom end of the jet tube in blue litmus solution. The ink filler contains water. Now press the rubber cover to release water. There, watch the fountain. Do you understand how the fountain was made? Water from the ink filler dissolves the sulfur dioxide to form sulfurous acid. This creates a vacuum in the flask. Blue litmus solution enters through the jet tube. Sulfurous acid in the flask turns blue litmus solution red. The equation for this is SO2 plus H2O will give you H2SO3. Wow, wasn't that amazing? I'm sure you enjoyed as much as I did. But what did you learn from this experiment? This fountain experiment shows that sulfurous is highly soluble in water and is also acidic. Now let's move on to the chemical properties of sulfur dioxide. Reaction with metals. Metals like magnesium and potassium burn in sulfur dioxide to form a metal sulfide and metal oxide. In this reaction, sulfur dioxide acts as an oxidizing agent and oxidizes magnesium to its oxides. The equation for this is Mg plus SO2 will give you MgO plus MgS. Addition Reaction Sulfur dioxide reacts with oxygen in the presence of platinum catalyst at 40 to 50 degrees Celsius to form sulfur trioxide. 2SO2 plus O2 will give you 2SO3. Acidic Nature Recall the fountain experiment. It shows that sulfur dioxide is acidic. It forms sulfurous acid with water. The equation for this can be written as SO2 plus H2O will give you H2SO3 or SO2 plus H2O can also give you H2SO2. Next is the reducing action of sulfur dioxide. You know that sulfur dioxide reacts with water to form sulfurous acid. This again reacts with water to release nascent hydrogen and gets oxidized to sulfuric acid. The equation for this is H2SO3 plus H2O giving you H2SO4 plus 2H. Do you know what is nascent hydrogen? It's nothing more than hydrogen in the atomic form. Again, sulfur dioxide acts as a bleaching agent. It is the nascent hydrogen we have discussed earlier that acts as the bleaching agent. Nascent hydrogen reacts with colored vegetable or animal matter and reduces it to become colorless. The bleach product reacts with oxygen to regain its color. That is, bleach product plus atmospheric oxygen will give you its original color. Thus, the bleaching action of sulfur dioxide is temporary.